uh, February 20th. We're out in uh, West Valley City, Utah. We've got a voluntary repo uh, we're picking up here. What that basically means is uh, when someone realizes they can't pay for their vehicle anymore, they call their bank and they say, come get it. Typically, uh, voluntaries are straightforward, but uh, unfortunately, there's those out there that want to screw with the repo man, and a lot of times they'll uh, call and say, oh, I want to give up my car, and then they'll screw with us by doing things to the vehicle. I've had people do things all the way from put glass in the seat to uh, piss in the vehicle, wipe stuff on the door handles, you name it, I've pretty much seen it. So uh, a lot of banks are like, well, why do you charge the same amount for a voluntary since, you know, the car's just there. What they don't realize is uh, voluntaries aren't always what they're cracked up to be, and in a lot of cases they uh, can be freakier. So looks like um, there's a volunteer. There it is, right there. We actually got a uh, car from this guy's brother. We've actually picked up a vehicle from that house over there too. <laughs> so, but uh, there's our voluntary. I'm gonna make contact and get keys and. Bring it out here and load it up. We'll see how things go. These guys are uh, Polynesian, so they're usually pretty cool. door here and make contact. Hey, picking up the focus? Focus? Is this 3634? That was 35, 36. Oh, I got the 35, 36? Yeah. Okay, you guys didn't call about a focus? Oh, drop on Oh, I think you guys got the right address, but different numbers. Okay, yeah, the, for the focus. Yeah. Okay, you got the key? Uh, what? Let me move my car. Okay. We got a key for it. Turns out the uh, battery's dead, so his brother moved his car out of the way, and we're gonna just grab a jump box here. And typically, people don't give their car back unless there's something <laughs> wrong with it. In most cases, so I'm not surprised here that the uh, battery's dead. It's probably been sitting for a while. thing jump started and go from there. Oh, okay. Sounds like we might have more problems than just a dead battery. This is why they call them voluntaries. that we can deal with here. So we're just gonna put it in neutral and... pull it out from here. Alright, we'll go get the truck and grab it from the back.
we got the voluntary strapped down. As you can see, it was uh, not too much work. A lot of times, by the time we come to repossess these things, they've been driven into the ground. You can see here, they've actually driven this donut tire down to the freaking metal. There's actually fiber showing through all the way around the tire. That donut's been on there for a little while. Even on the other side, you can see the uh, tires have just been driven down to nothing. These poor cars, people know they're going to give them up. They blow the engines on them, they drive the crap out of them, they break the plastic out of them, they do all kinds of weird stuff to repos. So if you're buying a repo at the auction, buyer beware. They're not always what they look like. take this one to our impound in Salt Lake and we'll hold it there for 10 days and then it'll go to the auction.